and welcome to another of Mrs. Powell's literacy lessons. Uh, this week we are looking at two books in particular. I'm just going to tilt this a second. We're looking at two books in particular. Um, one being Catch Up on Your Corn Flakes, which I have with me here today. And the next one after that will be The Giant Jam Sandwich. Okay, so we're going to spend two lessons on Catch Up on Your Corn Flakes. And then we're going to move on to The Giant Jam Sandwich. Okay. So today's lesson, we're basically showing that we can understand things that are funny, okay? Sometimes things that are funny can be called humorous, okay? Or full of humour, so that we can understand humour and funny things, okay? And also maybe come up with our own humorous or funny ideas, all right? So that's the point of today's lesson. Trying to be funny or understanding things that are funny. So catch up on your cornflakes, okay? Now this is a fantastic book by Nick Sherratt here because it's a special book. When I flip over this, this page here, you'll notice that the pages are cut in half, like our halving last week, two equal parts of our page is cut in half, okay? So there's all these different ideas that you can flap over. So you can have some sensible ideas or mix it up and make some crazy ones. So for instance, page one has a picture here and it says, do you like ketchup on your cornflakes? Hmm, actually, I don't really like ketchup on my cornflakes, to be perfectly honest. I mean, I can't imagine who does. So it's a little bit funny, but I can make it even crazier by having a flap over here, okay? So I'm gonna change the top one. So you could have something normal like, do you like custard on your apple pie? Well, that's just too normal. It's not funny. So I'm going to have a flip of my pages here. Hmm, okay, this is slightly strange. What about this one? So it says, and we know a few of these words here, do, a tricky word, you, from last week, do you like ice cubes on your apple pie? Hmm, a little strange. Why on earth would you want ice cubes on your apple pie? You might have ice cubes in a drink, but on your apple pie? Right, let's have a little flip around. I'm going to change my ice cubes to... Hmm, this looks quite funny. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, I've flipped my pages. I have now got, do you like toothpaste in your lemonade? Do you like toothpaste in your lemonade? Do you? <laughs> no, can you imagine drinking that? Oh, it'd be disgusting. Okay, let's have another little flip here. Oh, okay, let's try this one. So I've had a flip. Do you like milk on your toothbrush? Can you imagine pouring milk on your toothbrush to brush your teeth? <laughs> what would happen? Not a lot, really. It'd probably all just pour off, wouldn't it? When you come to brush your teeth, there'll be nothing left. That's crazy. Ooh, what about this one? Oh, let's try this one. Do you like milk on your chips? <laughs> so if you don't like it on your toothbrush, do you like it on your chips? What would happen to your chips, do you think? I think we'd be looking at quite a soggy bowl of chips if you poured milk all over them. Oh, what about this one? I'm kind of stuck on the milk one here. Do you like milk? in your bed. Do you like milk in your bed? I don't think it means sitting there and drinking a cup of milk. I think it means milk in your bed. Oh, imagine getting in there afterwards. Goodness me, what a soggy mattress you would have. Okay, let's try another one. I'm going to flip the bottom and the tops here. Okay, this is quite funny. Let's try this one. Do you like ketchup? on your head. Ha! Do you like ketchup on your head? Can you imagine that? Oh, there's quite a bit of sugar in ketchup, so I think it'll make your hair a little bit sticky and crusty. Oh, it'll be awful. Okay, let's have another little flick around. Oh, that's a bit crazy. Oh, what about this one? Crazy one here. I flipped the top and the bottom. So, oops, sorry, so no more milk, but do 
you like custard in your bath. Oh, imagine getting into a bath full of custard. <laughs> imagine the sound as you got out. It would be just like when you take that first spoonful out of a trifle and it kind of goes... <laughs> <laughs> It'd be so cool, sitting in custard. Mm. Okay, let's go for one more crazy, funny one. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, let's see where we could have it. Uh, oh, that's quite normal. Right, okay, I like this one. Got another one, another funny one. Oh, sorry, the light's on the book. Do you like talcum powder? So this is something you normally put in your body after a bath on your toast do you like talcum powder on your toast oh it tastes all kind of flowery normally like pretty smelly flowers would you want that on your toast no way okay i think i've pretty much found my funniest ones okay maybe not i've not done this one yet hang on let's try this one do you like a woolly hat on your egg. <laughs> Actually, I say this is funny, but I have had a little egg cosy before that looks like a hat to put on my egg, so maybe it's not as funny as I first thought. I don't know. It's tickled me though. Okay, so catch up on your complex is crazy. Okay, lots of crazy funny things. But I want you to think now of all the ones I just read out. Which ones were your funniest? Can you pick a funniest one? Whoops. So I had um, milk in your bed. Ugh. I had custard in your bath. Milk on your toothbrush. Uh, what else did I have? I had a woolly hat on your egg. Um, I had, oh, I think we had ketchup on your head, didn't we? That was quite funny. We had all sorts. I had quite a few of the milk, didn't we? So what do you think is the funniest one? What did you think made you laugh most of all? I think my favourite one was probably custard in your bath. I think that one's quite funny. So I would go with definitely the funniest, would you like custard in your bath? <laughs> okay, so you can tell your adults at home the funniest one out of the ones we read together. Now, I want you to think about your own funny combination now, where you take one thing and combine it, put it together with something else that it wouldn't normally go with. And that's what makes it funny, okay? So if I said, would you like custard on your apple pie? That's just too normal. A lot of us do have custard on our apple pie. So we're looking for something a bit crazy, okay? Something a bit different, where you put one thing, an item of food, somewhere where it wouldn't normally be okay so this is what i want you to have a think about you can pause the video now to have a think about it if you want to i think it probably helps in case you're thinking i just can't think of anything i think it might help to think of your favorite food so that will help you think of the food item and then you can think of somewhere mad you would never expect this to be on top of okay or in all right so pause the video and have a go at thinking. Let me give you an example, actually, before you do. So you might have, um, I like spaghetti, or do, sorry, do you like spaghetti in your shoe? That is kind of crazy. So yes, yeah, spaghetti is one of my favourite foods, but would I like it in my shoe? Mm -mm -mm. Bit funny, bit humorous. So have a go, think of your own one. Right, okay, hopefully you have had a chat with your adult in the room and you've come up with some funny things. So if you're in my class, maybe you can get your adults to type up on tapestry what your funny question was. Do you like spaghetti in your shoe like mine was? Um, do you like mm, cheese on your yoghurt? Mm. I mean, that shouldn't be so crazy, really. They're all like dairy things, but do you like cheese on your yoghurt? Do you like bacon in your banana cake? Mm. Do you like sausages in your ears? <laughs> it's 
kind of crazy. So hopefully you come up with some real funny ones as well. Now, I'd like you to be able to say your sentence out as well. So maybe you could also get parents to video you saying your funny sentence. And that could go on tapestry as well if you're in my class. That would be great. Um, so I think that's probably all for today. A little introduction into humour with our special ketchup on your cornflakes book. Tomorrow we will stick with ketchup on your cornflakes. And then as I say, we're moving on to the giant jam sandwich. So I'll see you then tomorrow to look at some more crazy sentences. Bye bye.